Hello fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo, welcome to my channel, thank you for tuning in, this is your current energies reading and we're going to be looking at what's coming up in your current energy between you and your current person, um, what's going to come up in the tarot deck in terms of messages, um, so this can be to the cross watchers who are dealing with a fire sign, this can be for you, so let's jump into the reading and have a look and see what's coming up okay fire signs okay so we've got the strength of the leo we have leo and sagittarius that have both come up in these cards which is fantastic to see um i feel like straight away seeing the temperance and the strength card you're coming into a period of strength and there is absolutely a new chapter that's coming up in your love lives either with a new person or you're moving to a next stage in your love relationships now this is happening in the physical realm there's numerous cards that would indicate things happening in the physical and i want to say that um the queen of pentacles with the ace of pentacles especially if you're dealing with an earth sign um this is about changing your status this is about changing your titles and relationships um yeah look these these sorts of things are happening and i feel like it's it's a display of um someone wanting to make things official uh, or maybe you wanting to make things official, it's very likely that that will take place. Um, and it's very likely that you're going to have this official title in your relationship together. And, you know, I feel like this can indicate numerous things like moving in with someone, maybe even having the talk about moving in together, you know, settling down. This is talking about the long-term future. So, so, so it's either you're connecting with or meeting a long-term partner or someone who is wanting to settle down with you, someone who sees you um, as someone they could do these things with. So this is absolutely wonderful. I think it's painting a really um perfect picture and you know she's in the rose garden here so roses are coming out roses are very romantic um so i feel like there's a very strong romantic link happening or a very beautiful gesture coming your way either to you or from you um, which is really going to help things along in a very beautiful way but this is like the universe speaking god uh, your spirit guides that, that are telling you that, that a new path needs to be put in your in in your place here um fire signs so look i feel like with the ace of pentacles um you know see, seeing this uh seeing this message here seeing the archway you know you're actually going you're moving into a new doorway for a lot of you i feel like there's a foreign person or a foreign environment that you're going to be walking into now, for some of you, you might not necessarily be ready emotionally. You've got strength of power, which is fantastic. And you're in a balanced kind of energy. I think there's some sort of honesty, some sort of truthfulness you need to face about a situation. I feel like there's a hard pill to swallow, but something you need to acknowledge. Um, yeah, seeing this in the cards... Uh, with the temperance card, I feel like this can be about balancing, uh, some sort of balancing act... Um, but I also feel like there's a truthfulness, there's something you need to address, something you feel emotionally, something that maybe you've been sort of denying or you've been trying to convince yourself it's not the case. Um, it's, not, it's not the easiest thing to address fire signs, but I think you're more than capable of doing this. And once you sort of come into this energy of acceptance and, you know, accepting that the truth is what it is or something you might uncover. You might even uncover a truth. There may even be a confession coming your way. Um, and I feel like this truthfulness is coming out. It's it's really a message of finding balance. But I also get like, because the temperance is ruled by Sag, this is like the straight shooter kind of energy. This is addressing things head on and not being fearful of doing that. So there may even be some sort of confrontation. Um but I feel like the confrontation needs to happen. Notice the lion with the maiden here. They give each other something that no one else can. So, you know, seeing this to me, um, 
I feel it really puts you in a place of a confrontation needs to happen, but this is almost like knowing your way around how to address a situation. It's really sort of interesting um, because the lion is intimidating and confronting and fierce. So it's either like in a certain situation, the current energies are you need to address something, but very softly, like you almost feel like you're walking on eggshells because of that situation. So you either need to address it you know, very softly, you need to walk on eggshells, you need to be, because someone else might react like the lion here, okay, it could be you, it could be someone you're dealing with, so you need to be the gentle, you know, the maiden. On the flip side, um, maybe someone needs, you know, have, hasn't seen that really um, assertive side to you, okay, I don't want to say aggressive, because I never want anyone to be fully aggressive with the situation, but the lion can be assertive, and for some situations, we need to be a little bit more assertive than previous times to get our point across, or to establish boundaries, or to know something is unacceptable or doesn't sit well with us. So I think seeing that is, is making me feel like someone needs to see that more assertive side to you. So whichever side you're sort of resonating with, I believe that message here is for you. Either way, it's going to bring you to your strength, and it can also strengthen your connection. It can strengthen the way you see the connection, uh, strengthen the way your person sees you. You know, suddenly you're much stronger than they thought you were. I mean, some of you, you've got a point to prove, okay? We always have points to prove sometimes. There's fire energy here. Now, fire can be ruled by ego. So what I'm saying, what I'm seeing here is that like ego's coming up. There's a point you need to prove and this is the time to do it. You're detaching emotionally. Um, what's going on here, fire signs? King of Cups reversed. Your emotions are reversed about a situation. Or it could be that your heart's not in a situation anymore. Or it could be like, I don't know, some of you are getting a bit colder. It's like, you know, I'm not going to be the nice guy anymore. I don't want to be the pushover. I don't want to be X, Y, and Z. I'm going to be the king of cups and I'm going to unleash fire on them. Um, or maybe that's not the case. Look, I feel like maybe with the king of cups, it's just saying that that caring, compassionate side is no longer evident in a situation either from your side or from your person's side. And maybe it's time to go. Maybe it's time to leave. Maybe it's time to cut things off temporarily. Maybe not forever. Things change, feelings change, emotion, emotions change. But maybe for a time you need to find that balance. But for others, I do feel like there is a long-term commitment. And maybe some of you are waiting to experience the love and you're not feeling that yet. But maybe we need to give things time sometimes and strengthen other areas of the connection before we fall head over heels. So for some, I feel like there might be some people out there who are like expecting fireworks and love and, and this crazy whirlwind. But sometimes it's more of a slow burning connection. So sometimes patience is required. And then you know, you'll see, you'll see him come up upright and then you'll get deeper and deeper into this beautiful connection that you have here. So I think it's all about having a little bit more patience, if I'm honest. So hang in there, fire signs. Um, thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, please feel free to reach out if you did want a private reading with me. I am, am currently accepting those before the end of the year. So please feel free to be in touch via email. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.